Hello, hello everyone! This is Night Shadow, and today we're doing another Slime Fun Guide. So this one's going to be a tiny bit more complex than the ones we did more recently, but that's a good thing. So we're going over how to make a auto-reactor coolant cell system. As you can see, I already hooked up the power because we already have power down here, so it's just convenient, but we'll be making the cargo system and everything else from scratch, as you can see. So I have it all perfectly measured out. I went ahead, I made it beforehand and everything. So this is everything besides the energy system. The energy system, you'll have to figure that out on your own, but it's pretty much like a normal energy system. So as you can see, you need one cargo manager, six input nodes, two advanced output nodes, five output nodes, one cargo connector, one fluid pump, four freezers that I made tier 2, but you could have as tier 1 as well, I just like it to be faster. Two chests, two pieces of ice, a water bucket, a piece of packed ice, a reactor coolant cell, a piece of blue ice, and four buckets. Now the ice and the reactor coolant cell you can get the longer and long as you make it, which I'll demonstrate. But let's go ahead and see about setting everything up. So first thing we're going to place is the fluid pump. We're going to place it right here, it's over the water, that way it will get all of the things. Then we're going to go ahead and place all of our freezers along this line. I left this space empty for the fact that I plan to put my cargo connector here and my cargo manager here. So that has our system all nice and set. And then I made this little spot right here for a chest. Now, my style makes it so that you only need one chest for the entire system, but if you prefer to have multiple chests for storage, there are alternate methods. So, let's go ahead and get all this stuff prepped and going. So, we're going to put an input node on our chest. We're going to leave it as is, except with a bucket on the inside, but it'll be on channel 1, as you can see. Then we're going to put a regular output node onto our fluid pump, as you can see, still on channel 1. So that bucket will be going in here and getting water. Then we're going to go back to this side, put in our input node, and put it on channel 2 for our water bucket. Then we're coming back over here, we're going to set it up so that's on channel 2 as well with this output node on our first freezer. And then, once again, an input node. This time, it's going to be for an empty bucket and a piece of ice. Now, this is where it gets a little trickier, because we're putting it on channel 3, because we want the bucket to go back to the chest here, which is why we have the two advanced output nodes. So, as you can see, we'll have our piece of ice, which is why on this freezer right here, we're going to put one of our advanced output nodes, look into it, and we'll put a piece of ice on channel 3. Then, once again, we'll go to the chest with this advanced output node. We'll put it on, again, channel 3, but we'll put it with the bucket. That way, whenever the ice is finished, it will automatically loop the bucket back over here to start that all over again, so you'll only ever need one bucket in the system at a time. And it will stay efficient. And meanwhile, all the regular ice will be funneled into this one. So then, we're going to put an input node. As you can see, we use channel 3 over here, so this is going to be channel 4. And it's going to be for packed ice, as you can see. Then we're back to using regular output nodes. We'll put it on channel 4 to match the other one. Then another input, if I can make my character stay still. This one's going to have blue ice in it, and it's going to be on channel 5. Then we'll swing around over here with an output. Already nearly done with the system. This one goes on channel 5 to match the other one right there. Our last input node already. It's going to be channel 6, as you can see, with a reactor coolant cell in it. Then we come back to our chest over here, and we put our final output node on channel 6. So, what you have here is your fully automated setup for reactor coolant cells. 
All you have to do is toss a bucket in and let it start the magic. Because you'll see in just a second it's already making the ice and the bucket should be looping around constantly. We're going to watch for it to see it go in. See, it's coming back, it's going in, and it's giving us more ice. And as you can see, we've already had ice hit multiple areas, so in just a little bit we should get our first coolant cell right there. So, as you can see, that is how you set up an auto-reactor coolant cell system. I'll just give you this little view overhead of it real quick. But, yes! Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Also, go check out my Twitch and my Discord. They're linked in the de description. So, that's a whole thing. But, yeah, this is Light Shadow, signing out. Bye-bye, everybody!